What's up, everybody? Welcome back to CoinFlow TV. This is Rob. I'm going to go over a couple of things with you tonight. We're going to talk about what we spoke about last night, give you an update on a couple of those ICOs, as well as uh, some news that I thought I'd share with you guys about some things that are going on and some things that you should be aware of. And then uh, last but not least, the uh, main topic of the day is Segwit 2X. That's going on tomorrow. I'm going to give you my opinion on it and also uh, give you some information that I feel like you should know. So stay tuned. I will be right back. Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> All right, guys, as usual, before we get started, I'd like you to pause this video if possible and read over the few things I'd like you to remember before watching this video. Thanks. All right, guys, once again, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and dig right in here. Listen, if you have not uh, subscribed to my channel yet, CoinFlow TV, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Now hit that little bell to turn on post notifications. That'll give you a notification every time I post a video. And um and we try to go over the most interesting stuff, anywhere from ICOs to news to uh, lending platforms, high ips, uh, mining programs. I mean, you name it, we try to go over it on this show. So if you guys like what you see, if you've checked out some of my other videos, go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe button now. Turn on post notifications. Uh, that way you can see every time I post a video. Now, moving on. Last night we spoke about Neo Connect, guys, and uh, we said that there was no updates on this lending platform or their ICO since December 21st. That was right before Christmas. Uh, today, I guess, um, you know, we made enough noise in the community. They did post a announcement about 12 hours ago. I'm going to go ahead and read that out to you. It says, after a lot of work or hard work these past few weeks, we are glad to inform you. Uh... Our ICO was smooth, even though we could not meet the ICO funding goal. So apparently they didn't meet the ICO funding goals. Total coins sold in each round. Round one, 1 1.5 million NEOC. Round two, 600K. Round three, 320K. Round four, 200K. And round five, only 90K. So a total of 2.71 million NEOC uh, was sold in our ICO. All the unsold and unlocked bonus NEOC will be used for staking rewards and affiliate bonus on our platform launch. The next post will be about the withdrawals of NEOC. Since we could not raise required funds, required funds as expected, we will be self-funding for building our lending platform, which could delay the lending launch. So something that you guys need to be prepared for. Uh, they're talking about the uh, possibility of a delay in their lending launch. Uh, we have also halted the creation of new accounts because bots are making fake accounts from the start to increase load on our data. We have already had talks with external exchanges and announcement will happen soon. Happy holidays. So, again, a lot of people pissed off about this. A lot of negative comments on their Facebook page. Um, but they did announce and they did come back and give us an update today, which I do appreciate that. And uh, hopefully, you know, that's a good sign and good things to come from these guys. Also, Asian, Asian coin. Wanted to give you guys a quick reminder. Uh, wallets will be released in 18 hours. So if you guys, or 19 hours, if you guys did invest in the Asian coin ICO, uh, their wallets are releasing and they are reminding you guys. And I am giving you guys a reminder of that as well. All right, let's move on to some news here real quick. All right, going to head on over to uh, news.bitcoin.com. I found this article pretty interesting. It talks about uh, exchanges that are closing their doors to new traders. So pretty much what's happening right now is because of the steady influx of uh, new users and new traders, uh, a couple of um, exchanges are kind of blocking people from starting new accounts and they're closing their doors, uh, mainly because they want to uh, be able to serve those who are currently on the platform. Um, one of the exchanges is Bittrex. They acknowledge that they... Um, they are well let me read it out to you bitrex bitrex acknowledges and acknowledged previously reported user complaints and explained its decision to halt new registrations by writing that we are excited to have so many new users who want to join the bitrex community unfortunately we have to make a few upgrades to our support and backend systems to handle the increased traffic and load so what this means, you know, obviously it's bad news for a new investor or somebody that's new to Bittrex. But, you know, for us that are on them um, on the platform, you know, we can definitely appreciate the fact that they want to keep their customer service sustained. Also, CEX.io announced that uh, they would be doing the same thing and Bitfinex. So if you're new to cryptocurrencies, new to exchanges, and you're trying to get on the, some of these exchanges, I got a buddy of mine that uh, has been complaining to me about Bittrex for the last uh, week or so. 
Um, this is pretty much why it's happening, guys. So just to give you a heads up on that. Also, I want to go over to uh, the Bitcoinist.com. This article was very interesting as well. Slow phone, a sign of crypto mining malware. Guys, if your phone is slowing down on you, um, pretty much what we're seeing is uh, malware that's being downloaded to your desktop and your phone that's mining Monero. We talked about this last week. We talked a couple of the, about a couple of websites that it's coming from. I'm going to go ahead and read through this article with you real quick so that way uh, you get a little bit more insight on this. So we've already learned last week of malware infecting Facebook Messenger service on desktop. The software is designed to harness computing power to mine Monero without the user knowing or consenting. This is effectively theft of the victim's hardware and power resources to profit the attackers. While powerful desktop PCs are a prime target, mining malware has also emerged on mobile phones. So if yours has slowed down, it could be under attack. So just kind of be aware of that. You guys can um, download uh, some antiviruses or malware detectors, and it should tell you. And it also talks about CoinHive. If you guys know what CoinHive is, it also allows owners website owners to insert code that will mine crypto from its readers so this this seems to be the new thing from uh you know these guys that create malware and you know that kind of stuff that goes into your computer um even if they're not crypto guys they've learned a way to uh make money off of it you know and uh some of these website owners are now going to coin hive i guess to um you know to get these or to be able to insert these codes into their website uh, so that their readers can uh, click on it and you know basically mine Monero for them. Uh, that way they make money. So they, this article talks about some of them not even having to sell their products online anymore because they're making so much money from uh, you know their users or their readers mining Monero uh, using their power, you know their computer power. So check out this article if you get a chance, guys. It's on the Bitcoinist.com now. Let's uh, talk about the Segwit 2X hard fork. So if you guys remember, Segwit 2X hard fork was supposed to happen last uh, month, I believe, and that got canceled because it lost a lot of support. Seems to be back from the dead and uh, in full force, guys. A lot of things have changed, and uh, this hard fork is supposed to happen. First, let's take a look at the B2X coin. If you guys remember, this was the coin that was created as a futures coin. Um for the Segwit 2X hard fork, it is B2X. A lot of exchanges were supporting it during the last uh, attempted launch at the hard fork. I'm not sure. I'll give you, give you an update. I know Coinbase was one of them. I'm not sure if they're doing it this time. They did send out a memo the last time. Uh, we did see their coin touch about, uh, I think it got a little bit over $900 today. It's back down to $480, down 43%. Um, obviously, as you can tell, is anytime there's a hard fork or anything like that, we start seeing a massive pump on the hard fork for futures coin. Um, so just going over this article here with you real quick. This is from the Bitcoinist.com. It talks about the resurrection. The announcement, the announcement was made, if you guys didn't know, on December 16th uh, with the fork date set for December 28th, which is tomorrow. And I'll talk to you about what uh, what block that's going to occur on here in a second. Uh, some Segwit 2X futures markets are still alive on, on some exchanges, and this attempt this attempts to finish the project that was started. Hit BTC and Yobit are already supporting the fork, saying that the people who purchase B2X tokens receive their coins. Um, go on over to uh, Coin Telegraph. This talks a little bit more about uh, the detail of it. All right, so hard fork take two. Segwit 2X will return December 28th. Says founder. The controversial Segwit 2X Bitcoin hard fork will go ahead on December 28th according to the project's official website. And if you guys want that website, it's right over here, b2x-segwit.io. A little tongue-tied here tonight, guys. Um, I guess it's too late at night. My OBS project, um, OBS software was acting up for a while, so it took me like an hour to fix. That's why I'm putting out this video so late. Otherwise, I'd be asleep by now. Uh, The Segwit 2x project, which caused months of debate and infighting among the Bitcoin community prior to its last minute cancellation in November now says it will hard it will fork off at block 501451. If you guys ever want to know what current block we're on, you go to bit blockchain.info forward slash blocks. That'll tell you the latest block that we're on. We're on 501363. As you guys can see from this one here and also on their website, they announced blocks 501 
451 is when that hard fork will start to occur. So we've got a little bit of time left here. We're at 363. That's uh, looking like tomorrow sometime. Uh, the project's founder and, and lead developer, Jap Turlo, stated on their site that the fork aims to address issues of commission and transaction speed within the Bitcoin network, adding that currently Bitcoin is almost impossible to use as a means of payment. If you guys have been, I mean, on the network for the last couple of weeks, uh, these fees have been astronomical. And um, I was seeing fees almost like 100 percent of what I was trying to you know, send. So it kind of put a halt on, you know, buying ICOs and uh, and, um, you know, investing in some of these platforms and stuff like that. I know I had to put a lot of stuff on hold for a little bit just because the fees were too high. Um, also, on the flip side of that, I did start using Litecoin and uh, Ethereum a little bit more because it was a little it was a lot faster and the fees were a lot less. So hopefully this will fix that problem now. Uh, we're going to talk about a couple of things that they fixed here. But uh, one thing I did want to point out to you guys, the founder also promised that in addition to the common practice of crediting B BTC holders with the equivalent balance, which is the new coin B2X. So if you guys have BTC at some point, whatever exchange you're on, I'm pretty sure they'll go ahead and honor the amount of uh, B2X that you were supposed to receive. You guys should get an airdrop of that. All right. Um, but they're also saying that they will also receive a proportional number of of Satoshi Nakamoto's Bitcoins as a reward of for their commitment to progress. Um, where does it say? Let me see here. Um, sorry about that, guys. I know I, there was a part of this article article where they talked about um, Satoshi Nakamoto's um, Bitcoins and uh, how much of it uh was available out there or was uh they were going to be crediting let me pause this video real quick i'll find that and i will uh talk to you about that just all right guys sorry about that completely different article going back to this bitcoinist.com um here's where they talk about uh, the nakamoto coins so it uh, says redistributing old coins the one point about the fork that raises some concerns is that the developers plan to redistribute the coins from the very beginning of bitcoin that are assumed to belong to satoshi Nakamoto. Nakamoto is assumed to be in control of just around 1 million Bitcoins, which will be revoked and given to current Bitcoin holders proportionate to their holdings. Uh, the developers have stated that the reason for this airdrop will be a reward for the progress and commitment. So that's something that I find very interesting how that's going to work out. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, it will be airdropped. Um, I don't know at what point and what exchanges will be supporting it or are or are already supporting it. So that's one thing. Also, you'll get the equivalent in the B2X token. Now, going on over to their website, some things that this is supposed to correct, and I'll go over some FAQs. Um, high block generation rate every two and a half minutes. So it's going to go from every 10 minutes to 2.5 minutes, kind of like Litecoin. So that'll definitely speed things up quite a bit. That's good to know. Good to see. And uh, hopefully that works out just fine. Um, recalculation of complexity after each block. That'll also speed some stuff up. Also, if you remember the original uh, SegWit2x um, hard fork was supposed to have a block size increase of two megs. They've doubled it to four megs. So that should also open up some block space and kind of create a fast lane for us. It's going to have replay protection, which I don't think the first attempt did. And also, they'll have a unique address format. All right. Um, and then they talk about their roadmap. They're talking about, uh, you know, the fork, the fork launch being on uh, 28th of uh, December, which is tomorrow. Then uh, there's offline codes, you know, Lightning Network support, that kind of stuff. We're going to talk a little bit about the night Lightning Network in, uh, in another video. I don't want to go too much into it. It's very interesting. Uh, no dates on any of this stuff. If we go over to the FAQs, guys, um, one thing I wanted to go over with you here is, uh, and you can look through this yourself, but how can I get Bitcoin SegWit2x? Futures trading. Um, well, futures trading is one, sorry. Already now, Bitcoin SegWit2x, B2x are traded on large crypto exchanges, the list of which is constantly replenished. Stay tuned for updates on our website and social channels. Also here, guys, I'll give you the, uh, the exchanges that are supporting it now, and I'll keep you guys updated as we go. Uh, Bitcoin, BTC storage on the wallets and services of our partners, 
the list of which also will be constantly updated and also cold storage. If you have access to your private keys, you will be able to get the BT, uh, B2X token. Now, going back here, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the exchanges that are supporting this. Uh, let's scroll down to the bottom of their website. So exchanges that are currently supporting B2X is HitBTC, Yobit.net, uh, Negoci Coins, X-Rates, LocalTrade.pro, and wallets that are uh, supporting it, Free Wallet and Zoominer. Uh, Zoominer, Zoominer. <laughs> I don't know if I got that right. Pools, MiningPool.shop, Zoominer. Okay, so I guess it is Zoominer. B2X.MultiPools. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. So get on this website do a little bit more research it is going to happen tomorrow like i said at uh block what was that again sorry guys uh block four five five zero one four five one if you guys want to know what block you're in go to blockchain.infos forward slash blocks it'll tell you the current block as you can see right now uh the latest one was 363 and um that's it guys if you guys have any questions or any comments or anything like that make sure you drop it in the comment section below Again, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so now. We got a pretty good channel. Uh, I try to put out the best information possible, the most truthful information on a lot of the platforms that I'm on, and also keep you guys updated as well as do giveaways, uh, you know, as much as I can. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That'll be it for this video. We'll talk to you next time, guys. Thanks. The truth.